poem, this next one is a poem I never read. Uh, well, these are all poems that I don't read very much. I hope it's not a mistake. Um, um, for me, this is, you know, like Milton. This is really long. <laughs> uh, it's called That Vase of Lilacs. And uh, once uh, some guests came over and brought a jar of lilacs, uh, which was my mother's favorite flower. And I felt that uh, she had died some years ago. Um, before that. And I felt, when I put my nose in the lilacs, that I was really just essentially a tube for her to smell the lilacs. Uh, I, it was the weirdest feeling. I felt like it wasn't me who was smelling the lilacs. And this poem is trying to deal with that interesting phenomenon. That vase of lilacs. Not just lilacs are like that. Other purples also leave us vacant portals, susceptible to vagrant spirits. But take that vase of lilacs. Who goes near it is erased. In spite of Proust, the senses don't attach us to a place or time. We're used by sweetness, taken defenseless, Invaded by a line of Saracens, Picts, Angles, double rows of fragrance-loving ancients. People matched casually by nose in an impersonal and intermittent immortality. 